All right, welcome back everybody. You found us again. It's Percy from Percy's Hardware. And it's Tuesday. So we're gonna do our Tuesday tips for the week. This week we're talking about chickens. <laughs> A lot of people are fed up with expensive egg prices. So they're gonna raise their own chickens. It'll be right there, nice and fresh, not store bought. Um, so we get some little uh, odds and ends as far as information that goes on that. Um, one thing a lot of people don't realize is chickens get dirty to get clean. They will protect themselves from mites and clean their feathers. Chickens take dust baths. They loosen up a patch of soil forming a pit and they jump in and roll around. So they have a, a unique way of staying tidy. Not unlike pigs that kind of like to roll around in mud, protect themselves from the sun and all that. So um, you don't need a rooster for chickens to lay eggs. Um, as just part of the chicken cycle, they will lay an egg. Um, I think when they're younger, when they first start laying, they uh, that's when you can get a chance to get some double yokers because you might get a, until they figure out how to regulate that, they might make some really, really big eggs or some really, really little eggs. And um, that's where the that's where the double yokers will come in. You'll catch that every now and then, which is basically a good size egg, like a little bit bigger than a jumbo egg or a jumbo egg. And um, it'll have two yolks in it. That's kind of when that happens more often than not. Uh, they grow fast. They can live a long time. Unfortunately, they won't lay eggs forever because you know there's only so many eggs to lay, so that will eventually run out. Uh, you probably won't get as many eggs in the winter time just because they're using up some of their energy to stay warm. Uh, they naturally figure that out with uh, daylight. So some people will put a timer in their chicken coop and have not only a heat lamp in there, but a regular light bulb in there. And they'll try and keep that daylight cycle the same amount of time. So that way when it gets dark out, that light will be already be on and they don't realize that it's getting dark out early and it kind of entices them to keep laying more. So that's a, that's a thing. Um, you would typically want to get uh, about a flock of six chickens because they're used to living in flocks. So that when you buy chickens, they're going to want to be in a group and six chickens is a good, a good, uh, a good number to start with. Um, you need at least three square feet of chicken coop space per adult chicken and 10 square feet of pen space per adult chicken. Now, right now with the uh, bird flu going on and concerns with that, it's actually recommended that you keep them in cooped up as much as possible or at least enclosed as much as possible. So I know a lot of people like to have their chickens free range, eating all the ticks and whatnot. Uh, the problem with them free ranging, besides the fact that they have a chance of getting exposed to bird flu or predators, is they poop everywhere they're going. They don't care where they're pooping. It's just going to come out of them. So if you don't want to be running around your yard, sliding around in chicken poo, you got to consider making a chicken run. Um, so that's kind of a important thing to do. Um, might want to check with your town's ordinances. Some communities don't allow livestock um, of any kind, some do. So you wanna think about that. Um, probably a good 15, 20 minutes a day maintenance on them. Uh, you wanna think about letting them outside in the morning in their run, uh, collect the eggs in the morning, in the afternoon. You might wanna give them a treat when you get home. You want to let them back inside their coop for sure when it gets dark out so they're protected. And then at least once a week, you want to kind of clean out their pen and all their uh, things they eat and drink out of. So you want to make sure you're ready for that. So you're going to probably want to get a, uh, a chicken coop, possibly a pen that's attached so they, they can uh, you know have a little bit of outside area but not get attacked or uh, in danger of getting sick from bird flu. Uh, they're gonna need bedding, which is usually just bales of shavings. Um, obviously, you're gonna need some um, chicken feed. One thing you wanna think about is a lot of people will try and store their food in like a shed or a garage or something like that. 
you're gonna attract rats and mice or even raccoons and things like that with the feed out. So uh, a lot of my customers will get a metal trash can, keep it in that, keep it sealed up so the you know things can't get into it. Uh, plastic trash cans work okay for a little while, but then critters will chew through the side of them to get to the feed and you've kind of defeated the purpose of having it sealed up. Um, you're gonna need a feeder and waterer. Uh, a lot of the, if you get them at chicks, you're gonna need, as chicks, you're gonna need a smaller one. And then as they grow, you're gonna wanna get something bigger. This is a good example of a waterer. Uh, the top and bottom are sold separately. So if one gets messed up, you can just replace the part that you need to replace. So that's that. Um, feeders are similar, just a little bit different shape inside, so the, you know, the feed can come out versus water wouldn't need such a big area to come out to, to make it work. Um, you want to think about um, if they get injured, a way to doctor them up, like a little kit to take care of that, uh, a little treat that they like, it's chick grit, give them some good extra minerals and whatnot. Um, a lot of treat they love is um, um, mealworms. They love mealworms, they love little crickets, things like that. Um, so that's kind of a neat little treat to give them if you want to give them a treat. Fresh eggs are awesome and you can find them locally. There's a lot of farm stands right here in Litchfield that will sell fresh eggs. So that's an option. Uh, I'm, I'm not you know as versed as other communities as I am Litchfield because this is the one I live in. But uh, there are a couple farm stands that offer fresh eggs here in town. Um, I think RMT Farms would be one of them. I believe Applewald Farms would have them as well and Seaman Farms would have them as well. Those are the first three that come to mind. There may be some others in town. Um, if you're on the, if you're, if you're one of those other farms, feel free to comment down below that, hey, I do this. So that's a good place to kind of get your name out there that you do it. I apologize if I didn't think of everybody right off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, so kind of a little bit of the lowdown on chickens. They're uh, nothing like farm fresh eggs. Definitely different than the store bought ones. And fun little thing for you and your family to do, especially if kids, teach them the responsibility of taking care of a little critter um, and getting the reward of getting a nice fresh egg and a lot of chicken poo that you could compost and use as fertilizer in your garden, which would be a whole other teaching lesson. So that'd be a fun project as well for summer. Love this time of year. I love spring and, and summertime. Get outside, enjoy it. So the other thing you're gonna want is um, not only you're gonna want a coop, but we do sell chicken wire and some fencing as well, like the stakes for fencing. I can't remember the word right now, garden stakes, there we go. So we'll have garden stakes for that as well. If you wanna build your own, that stuff's available. Uh, comes in rolls, different pre-sized rolls and we don't have exactly what you need. I'm sure we can order something for you. So that's another thing that we have. So random item of the week that you may not expect a hardware store to have is a Glade plugin. So uh, if we're talking about chickens, chickens can be smelly. There's something to help freshen up the room if you uh, happen to track in a little chicken poo in your entryway. So yeah, we have Glade plugins here. I was as surprised as you are. <laughs> Just discovered that we had those in, in the aisle. So yeah, that's a fun random item of the week. So yeah, if you're enjoying our Tuesday Tips videos, feel free to comment down below that you're enjoying them. If anything, we hope you're at least getting a laugh out of these and you know some good advice get you out of the pickle i don't know how you get into a pickle i don't even know where that expression comes from i'm gonna look that up because it's bugging me now that i said it so um yeah like subscribe and if you're enjoying this don't just keep it all to yourself don't don't hog all the magic share it with somebody <laughs> show them hey look at this goofy guy check this out you think, you think you look weird. Watch me for 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I want to say that or not, but yeah, if you're enjoying this, share it with your friends, let them enjoy some of the magic. And if it's evening, 
or afternoon or nighttime or even morning. Thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to me ramble on aimlessly. <laughs> I'm so good at that. So yeah, thank you very much. And hopefully we'll see you next Tuesday.